The M1 Garand is possibly the most recognizable firearm to be used in the Second World War. Famed for its pivotal role in combat, General George Patton once described it as the greatest implement of battle ever devised, and he very well could have been right. A valiant rifle that fought both in World War II and the Korean War, staying in service way past its prime, and would be used in limited numbers as the US became more and more involved in Vietnam. A true patriot and defender of the US, the M1 is an iconic firearm. In terms of specifications, the Garand weighs just under 10 pounds, with a length of 43 and a half inches. It can put 40 to 50 rounds on a target per minute, but despite the slower fire rate, it has an effective range of almost 500 meters. Although the en bloc clips used by this rifle hold just 8 rounds, it's very powerful, being chambered in 30 6 Springfield. Another feature is the way it's reloaded, the spent clip automatically ejecting upwards with a distinctive ping after firing all 8 shots. The development of the Garand begins with John Garand, chief civilian engineer at the Springfield Armory in Massachusetts, where he began designing a semi-automatic rifle, chambered in 30 6 the requirements for this new rifle would be a higher fire rate, faster loading and unloading, less recoil, be effective at up to 700 yards, be able to be field stripped without tools, have a simple operation, and must be reliable. Garand found that the most effective design for the new rifle was a gas operated system. He designed a long stroke piston system that would use the propellant gases from the round being fired to drive back the bolt via an operating rod, chambering a new round. Finished by 1924, and named the Garand after its creator, the rifle would be sent for testing by the US Army. After several trials in which the Garand was initially rejected, by 1931 it had proven itself as a great firearm. However, problems with the cartridges used in the Garand meant that the rifle would again have to be adjusted. Once the bolt had been redesigned, the rifle, known as the T1E2, was retested and the army was ordered to dedicate all resources towards the identification and correction of issues with the Garand. The trials of the Garand continued up to 1936, where the weapon was modified in order to be accepted by the military, and it now outperformed any other rifle submitted at the time. By the time war broke out in Europe, and then the attack on Pearl Harbor, the US was ready to fight, and they were the only nation of the combatants to be armed with a semi-automatic rifle to fight against the bolt-action relics still being fielded by the Axis powers. By the end of World War II, five and a half million rifles had been produced. Still being the main service rifle of the US, production of the M1 was restarted as North Korea invaded the South, with some one and a half million rifles produced during this period. Despite production stopping in 1957, even during the Vietnam War, it still served on the front lines until the mid-60s, while the Army Reserve, Army National Guard, and US Navy still used it in service up until the 70s, although it did fire a different caliber, 7.62 by 51mm NATO. The impact the M1 Garand had on the battlefield cannot be understated. General Patton, for the military world in the 1940s, was absolutely correct in his assessment of the Garand as the greatest implement of battle. Whilst wars like the American Civil War and the First World War can be accredited as being the first truly modern wars for various reasons, the M1 Garand alone changed the face of war forever. The Garand was the first semi-automatic service rifle fighting primarily against bolt-action rifles, meaning that it had significant fire superiority compared to its foe. With the Garand's introduction, individual marksmanship was negated heavily, and sheer volume of fire became the deciding factor in a battle. Where a German would have to reacquire their target after every shot with a bolt action, an American armed with an M1 could fire 8 shots without ever having to take their eyes off their enemy. Its exceptional reliability furthered its battlefield impact, with a much lower chance of jams or stoppages providing another advantage for the Garand. In terms of variants, the Garand has many, with different chamberings and providing mountings for scopes but there are three main variants of the Garand design. The M14 in 1957 was the spiritual successor to the M1 Garand, but became very controversial. It had the accuracy and range of a traditional rifle, but was too long, heavy, and lacked the firepower of a true assault rifle often required in modern close combat. To compound this further, it was uncontrollable in automatic fire, and eventually the M14 would be phased out of service and replaced with the new M16 by 1964. The Beretta BM-59 is an Italian rifle based on the Garand design. Cleared to go into service by 1959, the new rifle was chambered in 7.62x51mm NATO, and, unlike the Garand, 
how to select fire trigger and utilize 20 round box magazines rather than the on-block clips. The final main variants are the Ruger series rifles, the Mini-14, Mini-30, and AC-556. The Mini-14 is a scaled down M14, and mechanically similar to the Garand, having the same gas operation, but production stopped in 2003. The Mini-30 is a variant of the Mini-14, with all the functionality of the M1 Garand, but is chambered for the 7.62x39mm M43 round. As for the AC-556, it's a select fire variant of the Mini-14, built for law enforcement and military use, but was discontinued in 1999. While not a direct Garand variant, but still notable, the AK-47 sourced its operating mechanism from the Garand after World War II. Its service was short, but it was ahead of its time. The Garand represented a transition in arms production and priorities, moving the military world away from bolt-action rifles as standard issue to equipping soldiers with semi or fully automatic weapons to increase overall rate of fire and thus maximize the chance of victory in modern combat. An American classic and hero of the Second World War, the M1 Garand is a truly iconic weapon.